John Paston was born in 1442, the eldest son of John Paston. He circulated through all phases of social order, from the basics to the courts of King Edward IV. He comes from a family of writers, and the Paston letters are world famous. In his early adult years, he lived on Fleet Street in London and the George Inn by Paul's Wharf. He was knighted at the age of 22. Later, he returned to Caister Castle at Norwich, where he began writing his great book. We believe the great book is the title he wanted for the Arthurian manuscript. His library at Castor also contained classical literature to produce Arthur. He had a passion for musical instruments. He had a chest of them. He was athletic. He was theatrical in that he put plays on at Caster Castle. One of his servants played the part of Robin Hood. It is possible that the world's greatest version of King Arthur came from a person deeply connected to the arts in the form of music, theatrics, and writing. But even more exciting, he lives the Arthurian legend as a heroic knight jousting in tournaments, all of which are great scenes in Arthur. All this would give him a great passion for his writing subject. The following is a statement by William Abisham, Billing Passon for writing the great book. We see here that these passages on the coronation and the knights are very identical to the Caxton manuscript. In 1469... Caster Castle was sieged, all of Paston's manuscripts stolen, including his great book containing the highly suggestive evidence of Arthurian passages. It is highly important to note that this is the same year, 1469, that Caxton receives his Arthurian manuscripts by a non-existing writer. Caxton keeps the manuscript 16 years, publishes it in 1485, six years after Sir John's death. If our theories are correct, writer John Paston's classic literary masterpiece is surfacing to become the world's greatest classic of Arthurian literature. The following is a statement by William Ebersham, Billing Paston for copying writing, highly suggestive of Arthurian passages from Paston's great book. Following a pureth, parsley, diverse, and sundry, which I, William Ebersham, have written for my good and worshipful master, Sir John Paston, and what money I have received and what is unpaid. Item, as to the great book, first, for writing the coronation and other treatises on knighthood. In that choir, which containeth a thirteen leaves and more, two pennies a leaf. Referring on the treatises on knighthood, here we see Graham Turner's painting, John Paston, leading an Arthurian life at the Battle of Barnet, helping his brother with a lodged arrow. He wrote his mother four days later, stating his brother was well and safe. The letter is now part of the famous Paston letters. This painting may be a classic reflecting a book writer, not a copyist, as Caxton claimed. The writer is shown in full battle, giving life to his writing that may be reflecting the greatest book written about knighthood and Arthurian values.